This tutorial is going to be a little different from my usual ones. Today, we're diving into point trackers in Fusion and Nuke. Now, Fusion's tracker is great, but if you're coming from Nuke, it might leave you scratching your head. At least it did for me. I spent way too much time trying to figure out why it wasn't behaving the way I expected. So, let's break it down. In Nuke, we have the Tracker node. Under the Transform tab, there's an option to set a reference frame. If you go to, say, frame 100 and click Set to Current Frame, it zeroes out the transform right there. Super handy. And exporting tracking data? Easy. Just click this little button, send it to a Transform node, and boom. Your text, or whatever, follows the movement. Simple, right? But in Fusion, well, things aren't that straightforward. There's no option to zero out the transform at a specific frame. If I want my track to be neutral on frame 50, nope, can't do that. And there's no magical export to transform button like in Nuke. Which is weird, because the planar tracker in Fusion does have an export option. Black magic, why? All right, so how do we actually use tracking data in Fusion? There are two ways. The tracker node in Fusion also acts as a merge node. If I connect my text to the foreground input and view the tracker node, nothing happens. That's because I need to set the operation to match move. Now my text sticks to the track. But this method is pretty limiting. The biggest problem? It doesn't give you full control over the alpha of the track text. That's a deal breaker for me. Instead of using the tracker as a merge node, move the tracker node under the text node. It needs both inputs, foreground and background, plugged into work. Change the merge operation to foreground only. Now it works properly. We can also export the tracking data to a transform node, which is what I prefer. Create a transform node. Right click the center parameter and choose connect to IntelliTracker position. Now we have tracking data inside a transform node, just like in Nuke. I actually like this tracker. The IntelliTracker does a solid job handling difficult tracks. But the way Fusion manages tracking data, not great. First, we need a way to zero out the transform on a specific frame, just like in Nuke. Second, Blackmagic, please, just give us an export tracking data button inside the tracker node. You already have it in the planar tracker. Blackmagic did recently update the tracker and added the ability to track one frame forward and backward. I was hoping they'd also improve the data export, but I guess we'll have to wait a bit longer. Anyway, I know this wasn't a tutorial on some flashy effect, but hopefully it helps you understand Fusion's tracker, especially if you're coming from Nuke. Thanks for watching. Happy compositing.